Hello. Hi, is it working? Let me know if it's working. Give me a thumbs up if it's working. Click the little thumbs up button wherever it is. Ooh, it's kind of laggy. Okay, there we go. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Come on, let this please be working. Is this working? I'm not getting immediate responses, so I feel like it's... Okay, now they're all flooding in. Okay, it's probably delayed a little bit, but it seems to be working. So we're gonna leave it and let it do its thing. <laughs> okay, so yes, yay, this is working. Okay, the last time I tried to do a uh, live stream on here, it totally didn't work. But today we are going to go through my closet and I figured that I would let you guys join me. I have some hair bows right here on the inside. Um, but what I did is I went to Walmart and I want to get all new hangers for my closet so they're all unison and like all the same color and size and everything. Um, so I got these, these came in a 10 pack for a dollar at Walmart and I got four uh, things of them. So there's 40 all together. And so what I'm going to do is just start on this side where my sweaters and stuff are. And I'm just going to migrate this way until I'm out of hangers. And I'm going to take each item out and show you guys what it is. Maybe tell you where I got it. I'm not going to go through my whole entire closet in this particular stream or this video because I don't have enough hangers to do my whole closet right now. So I figured that I'd probably break this into a couple parts, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So I hope you guys are stoked because I figured that I would just live stream while I did it so you guys could keep me company. Um, is this light annoying or is this like good? Here. It's, it's better with the light, right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Thank you so much. Okay. And if you guys are watching this stream right now and you were not able to make the actual stream uh thank you for checking out my channel <laughs> don't forget to subscribe for more shameless self-promotion um anyways so yeah we're just gonna start in the very back as far as i feel like i need to go um we'll just start right here so i'll just i'll grab one at a time because okay there's oh yeah that that that's okay so First things first, I'm just going to throw my other hangers all over there. So I got this from Dresslink years ago. If you guys remember my channel back then, that was crazy. That, that, was, that seemed like a long time ago. Will this fit on here? Will I have to hang it like I did the last one? And this one's kind of like really wide necked, like boat neck. So what I have to do with this one is kind of just like fold it and then drape it over the hanger like this. So it's a little weird. This one's a little weird, but that's okay. And then we'll just put it back and keep going. Okay, so then I have this one, and this was actually my mom's when she was around my age or younger, and I don't really know how to explain it. It's really cute, kind of reminds me of like vintage Barbie. So, I don't know. I like it, and it's been in my closet for eons, it feels like. <laughs> so, yeah. And then this one right here was also my mom's. It's so, like, vintage pastel floral. So cute. Three-quarter sleeve. These are both just adorable. I, I miss wearing this one. I used to wear this one all the time with leggings, since it's, like, a little bit longer. It's really cute. Sorry if this is boring for you guys, but it's exciting for me because I get to go through my closet and share it with you guys and stuff. So just hang that one right there for now. I just recently, recently went through my closet, like my entire closet, and um, I'm going to be donating or handing down a lot of stuff because I accumulate stuff at a very rapid rate most of the time. So, yeah. 
Okay, then I have just this, um, it's just like a plaid button up. I wear this when I'm going out with my boyfriend and I don't want to get my nice clothes dirty and stuff. So I just have these. And that's the thing is like most of my closet is like pastel and cutesy and everything. But I also do have like that tomboy side to a point because obviously I'm not going to wear my nice pastel clothes if I'm going like mud bogging or something like that. So I do have a bit of variety in my closet, which I like, but I've been trying to get more pastel things over the past little while, as you guys can tell just by looking at my closet. <laughs> and these are just like my long sleeves on this side. Is this still going? Are we still good? I hope so. Okay. Let's see what's next. Oh, ugly Christmas sweater. I have these two ugly Christmas sweaters. I got this one, I think came, I think they both came from Walmart actually. So I have this one right here and this one I got just this last Christmas. So yay, ugly Christmas sweaters. I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, didn't mean to throw that over there. I'm already getting kind of warm so I might have to take my shirt off because I have a tank top underneath. <laughs> uh, not that kind of show, guys. Not that kind of show. Uh... Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, I definitely didn't, don't have as many hangers as I need to do my whole closet. So I figured I'd just do it in steps because then that way we can kind of do parts and then you guys aren't overwhelmed with all of the stuff in here because it can get overwhelming sometimes. Like, this is just one side. Okay. Okay, I need to take, like, a chunk of these out so I have some wiggle room in here. Okay. There we go. All right. <laughs> My closet is packed. <laughs> Very packed. Come on, go in there. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Now maybe I can work with this a little bit easier. Okay, then we have this. You guys might remember this from one of my thrift store hauls. I got this at Value Village. It's just a really cute tiger sweater with some little faux studs on it. Yes, I do still have my prom dress, actually. It's just not in my closet because it's like the size of a small house. <laughs> so it wouldn't really fit in my closet. But I do still have it. Then I have a couple of these just basic, plain white long sleeves. I think I got these at just different thrift stores. These are just to go with like um, maybe Lolita skirts or um, to have tucked in with uh, high-waisted skirts or jeans or whatever. They're just nice to have some plain clothes to be able to mix and match with some other things once in a while. Oops, I just threw that hanger all the way across the room. Got stuck to my hand. Okay, we're almost down 10 items already. Can you believe that? <laughs> that moment when you know where each thing is from because you watched me so long. Is that what that said? That's funny. Oh my gosh, it already looks 10 times nicer having all of these same hangers. My dress, my prom dress, was like a quinceanera type dress. I actually bought it at a quinceanera shop, or a quinceanera dress shop, and it was huge. It was olive green, and it had the big, like, ball gown bottom, and it was gigantic. Then we have this sweater that I just got from AMI Clubwear. I wore it a couple times so far and actually I don't think this one's going to be able to hang like that on this hanger so I'm going to fold it and do it kind of weirdly like I had to do that tiger one which will work just as fine. I'm going to go ahead and put it back there with that one. There we go. All 
dry. It looks ten times nicer, like, with the hangers in unison here. Oops. Getting them all tangled up. There we go. Okay, then I got this one and this one, both from Value Village as well. This one is just a pretty, like, I don't know, kind of sheer wool sweater. And then this one is um, like a floral print sweatshirt type thing. Okay, I have to open another thingamajig. I have to open another one. Probably should have opened them all first and then got started. Hey dolls! No, don't be me, be you! My life's already taken. Be yourself. Live your own life. Oh my gosh. Can't to get those. Ah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> the struggle. Okay. So, let me just replace these. I'm probably going to keep these pink hangers and just like put them all together in a separate spot in my closet. I could do like a cute pattern, like pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, but. I'm not that, like, organized with my life, I guess. So, who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. Okay. And then this sweater. My mom is doing really well. And Rebel is upstairs right now. I didn't want him to be kind of in the way while I was doing this. Because I have clothes all over the place right now. That moment when you're trying to read the comments, but they're going too fast. Story of my life. <laughs> I'm just glad that this is working. The last time I tried to do a stream, it was not having it that day. It was horrible. It was not working. And it was a major fail. <laughs> okay, then we have my Ariel um, little jumper sweatshirt thing. I think I got this. I want to say I got this from Plunder, but I don't remember 100%. This could have been from somewhere else. It could have been from She Inside, too. I can't remember 100%. It, it, it's somewhere in a haul on my channel if you really want to dig for it. Oh, it says She Inside right on the tag. Never mind. I got this from She Inside. <laughs> so I don't have to dig for that too much, I guess. Okay, then my Malibu Barbie sweatshirt. A lot of people have this sweatshirt. I can't remember where I ended up getting this one from. I think, oh yeah, this was She Inside also. Do you guys have this sweatshirt? Let me know if you have this sweatshirt too. <laughs> okay. There's that one. I would have music playing in the background, but I'll get copyrighted if I do that. <laughs> okay, this one right here I actually got at the mall when Tanya came up here the first time, and I think, I think I got this from like Zoomies or PacSun or a store in the mall. It's just like a mint, really lightweight long sleeve. I love to wear it with some like uh, floral printed leggings. It's really cute. Okay, the next one I got is from Rage On. And this is the company that I do my merchandise through. So you guys have seen my So Long, Stay Strong, Stay True, and Be You pillow. Um, this sweatshirt I got from them, as well as my Lisa Frank long sleeve, which you guys will see in a few minutes. Um, but it's really cute. It's like a unicorn kitty and stuff. And uh, it, it's adorable. It's huge, though. Like, if you're going to get this, it's, like, it's kind of huge. But um, if you guys want to check out my merch, it's always linked in the description box. So if you want to get that pillow or just check out my merch shop, I need to add more. I've been really slacking. But you guys are more than welcome to check that out if you want to. But it's rageon.com. And I think my my shop is rageon.com slash user slash my favorite right now. I don't remember. It's linked in the description, though. My sister got me this, um, I think it was the year before last year for Christmas. It was either Christmas or my birthday, but it's just a really cute, like, pastel coral emoji shirt. 
No, never too old to be here. Never too old to love what you love. Oh, this came from Rue21. I just saw the tag. So this is from Rue21. Okay. All right, where am I at now? Okay, this is in a weird spot. I need to put this somewhere else. This is another like kind of plaid style button up that I would wear, you know, elsewhere, not necessarily to a nice event like a bonfire or something. Oh, I have another Christmas sweater right here. This is a turtleneck one. It has little Scottish dogs on it. Let me go ahead and see if I can put this on here because it feels like it might have to... Oh, no, it actually worked very well. I'm going to go ahead and put this back here with my other ugly sweaters because I won't be wearing that for a while. Christmas is far away once again. Actually, it's approaching faster than I can even believe because it's already almost, March is already almost over. That is freaking crazy. And here is another button up, but this one is pastel. It's like a pastel style one. I got this at a thrift store. It's in the, it's the brand Cruel Girl. So like cool girl, but cruel girl, like evil. Um, it's really cute. I like it a lot. So cute. Okay. Oh, and you guys, I filmed an updated what's in my purse video today. So that will probably go up this weekend because I'm saving this live stream as a video itself. And then um, I'll probably have my what's in my purse up this weekend. So get excited. But I did just order a new purse yesterday. I figured I'd do my what's in my purse anyway. And then just kind of just let you guys know that everything will be the same. My sister got this for me. Or handed this down to me rather. It used to be hers. But you guys know wolves are my favorite. So it's kind of like a red color. I like to wear this with um, leggings during the winter as well. Look at that guys. We're already halfway done. We're already halfway done with this. Can you believe that? Oh, this one might not be able to fit on here, right? That's okay. We'll make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Like Tim Gunn. Oh, here's another button up. This one's pink. I think I got this from JCPenney. It has like a beautiful little floral detailing right here. But um, it's, an, uh, it's the LEI brand. So popular brand. I got that from JCPenney though. All right, I gotta open. I wanted to show you guys my cute sweatshirts though, so I hope I'll have enough. I should. Yay! There we go. All right, so. I'm just going to set this button up aside, though, because I want to do that one with the other one. Then I have this. I think I got off of AMI Clubwear as well. It's kind of like a denim style, and then it's like ombre. Like, it's kind of darker and then fades down. And then uh, the top is, like, lacy and really, really, really cute. I love this one, too. I wore this when Tanya visited the first time. And we went to the park and stuff together. It's really cute. How long have we been on here? It doesn't tell me how long we've been on. Oh, I don't even know how long I've been on here. But I'm going to hang this right here so I can button it. Hopefully I can button it with my fake nails on. <laughs> it was cute. When I was with my boyfriend for our, like, anniversary time at the place that we stayed, at the mansion or whatever, I could not, for the life of me, button my cardigan with my nails on, so I had him button my cardigan for me. I felt kind of bad about it, but it was really cute. It was really cute of him to do that. Okay, I'm gonna just hang that one down there for now. Okay, then I have, what do I have here? I got two more wolf shirts. Uh, this one, I think it came from Dress Link. Um, I think it came from Dress Link. And then this one right here, I got from uh, lookhuman.com. I think I did a haul, but it says this is my costume or this is my werewolf costume. I haven't transformed yet. So I love this one for like 
Halloween time. And it's really, really comfy to just sleep in too when you want something a little bit warmer. Ah, thank you. that one. Oh yeah, I had my wolf ones all together. That's what it was. All right. I want to have all the wolf ones together. Okay. I have all my random hangers. I told my mom, I was like, you're going to have a lot of hangers because she always wants more hangers and stuff. And I told her, I'll give you all my old hangers because I'm going through my closet and I'm trying to make them all the same and unison and all one length. <laughs> And it, it does. It looks ten times better. I'll show you guys at the very end. But um, Okay, now we're moving on to the other sweatshirts that I have over here. So I have quite a few. This one I got from Spree Picky. It's really, really cute. You can see on there. Very kawaii. I got this along with um, a backpack. Okay, there's that. Okay, and then I got, what else next here? Oh, I have this Christmas sweatshirt that I really need to put with my other Christmas sweatshirts. <laughs> But it's it's it could be considered inappropriate. I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. I actually got this from um, Rose Gal. I ordered this, and it was funny because after I had ordered, kind of a couple months later or whatever, the company had contacted me to work with them, and I figured, okay, well, I had no problem ordering from them, and people seem to have a problem when I did my Rose Gal. Uh, haul because they thought that Rose Gal is like a scammy website and stuff and I had no issues whatsoever so I still stand behind my video just because I personally had a perfectly fine experience but I know a lot of people have said that they are sketchy and things like that but I don't know 100% sure because I ordered as a regular customer before they even contacted me to work together so I'm not quite sure what are, like, you guys can share, like, your experiences and stuff if you've ordered from them personally, but I did. I ordered that shirt just by itself, and I had absolutely no issues. Okay, I need to put that with my, with my Christmas stuff. Then I have my Pusheen sweatshirt that I got from Pusheen Box. It's getting warm in here. It's getting hot in here. So please keep your clothes on. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm just going to leave that one right there for now. Okay. And then I guess this one I already have kind of in here right now. This is my Zootopia shirt that I got in the little kids section at Target. My mom actually got it for me, but that's where I saw it was in the Target section. Or the Target little girl section. I kind of push these to the side here. I have my uh, planner stuff and like my stationary stuff and my laminator like right here. And then I have like this drawer tower. So it's kind of compact and very kind of annoying to have that right there. But you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> You gotta make room for stuff sometimes, so that's what I did. It's not the best. It's not the most convenient thing in the world, but you make do with what you can. Okay, and then I have this sweater. It actually has a makeup stain on it, so I'm gonna wash this. Um, I hadn't washed it. I kind of just wore it one day and hung it back up without even noticing that there is a makeup stain on the collar right here. So I got to wash this, but this came from, um, I think it's a little church and it's like a little winter scene. I got this from uh, uh, Value Village as well. And it's just, again, another really pastel, cute, vintagey sweater. So I'll set that aside. Now this one right here, I actually got when I went out of town with my mom. 
and it's just a really soft like furry kind of sweater with a big white heart in the middle very very cute I like it Dun -dun -dun. these hangers aren't that great to be honest <laughs> but they're all the same and that's what I like that's what I like to see <laughs> Uh, yes, very fluffy sweater. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up. I have two more from the last pack, and then I have 10 more, so I have 12 more pieces left to go, and then I'll have to stop, and then I can pick this up when I get more hangers. I think I might be getting more tomorrow or sometime this week. I might go back to Walmart and get some more. I didn't just buy a ton all at once because I could have easily just bought like $10 worth of hangers. Um, but I didn't want to do that until I actually got them home and tested them to see if they were exactly what I wanted. I mean, I could have bought them all and then just like, if they weren't right, I could have just took them back. But I don't like doing that. I hate dealing with returns and exchanges and all of that stuff. So the less stress and struggle, the better. Okay, next up we have my panda sweatshirt also from ami club wear this is one of my favorites i've been wearing this a lot lately so it's got like a couple little makeup marks on the collar but very cute i love this one so much and it's so thick and warm so i could probably start putting these towards the very back because it's gonna start getting hot soon i'm so excited for the warm weather to start happening Yes, Manda Panda, exactly. <laughs> okay, here is my Lisa Frank one that I was talking to you guys about a couple minutes ago. This is from rayjohn.com. I also have a Lisa Frank crop top that I got from them. And then you guys saw that kitty sweatshirt a minute ago. But this is from the same place. And it is 100% licensed Lisa Frank. Like, Lisa Frank works with Ray John to make these. So, you know it's legit. Next up, we have, this is one of my favorite new clothing items um, over the past while, is pastel tie-dye. This I got from Rue21. So cute. So many people told me that they have this as well. They saw it in, like, a Valentine's Day video or photo or something on Instagram, and they said that they had it too, which is really cool. I love matching with you guys. It's so fun. Yeah, I could not say no to this when I saw it. It was just so pastel because I like Rue 21, but it's, there's only usually a couple things that are truly pastel and super girly when I go in there. And so when I saw this, I caved and I had to get it because it's so rare to find something that pastel and cutesy, especially during like the winter months in, um, cause I want to dress pastel and cute all year round, not just spring and summer. So it's nice to find like long sleeves that I can wear that are really pastel and cutesy. So I also have this meow long sleeve. You guys have seen me wear this 500,000 times, I swear, like all on my Instagrams and stuff. Um, I don't typically wear a lot of black, but if I do, I'll wear like my hot pink jeans with this or something. So it kind of just like, it's not so much black and everything. But I got this from Dresslink as well many, many moons ago, it feels like. It's like the one piece of black clothing right here. It's like random. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else, guys? What else do we got here? Kind of push that to there. Okay. I have so much stuff in my closet. I need to go through this all again. Okay. The last thing, oh my gosh, you guys, this is, no one knows about this yet because I haven't posted about it just yet, but I have been wanting this vintage Dalmatian sweater for eons and eons and eons it feels like but every time I try to find it it's so expensive like it's insanely expensive they have a pink version of this on eBay right now for two hundred dollars two hundred dollars two hundred dollars because it's from the 80s and it's like that fairy k pastel vibe and I wanted it so 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 bad but um one of my friends 
actually opened up a Depop page and she sold hers to me for 20 bucks. That's literally 10% of what it is everywhere else. I was like, ah. So this is one of my most cherished clothing pieces because I feel like this is the best deal I've ever gotten on a piece of clothing, apart from a couple dresses that I have that I got from like um, a dress shop that was going out of business. But, oh my gosh, yay, I finally have it and I love it. But now that the weather's getting warm, it's like I have to wait till next year to even wear it tear because it's really hot like it's a sweater so it's like knitted and just really hot but it's so cute it has no tags there's no brand on it it's just I don't know I can't tell you guys all I know is that it's from the 80s and that it's vintage and it's really expensive everywhere else so I was so thankful that my friend was able to hook me up and get me the sweater that I've been wanting for so long and this is the purple version. Like I said, they also have a pink version and they may have like a pastel blue version as well. I'm not 100% sure on that though. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put this towards the back because it's gonna be too hot to wear it soon. But very, very, very cute. So pastel, very me. Aw, thank you, I love you guys too. I'm getting like really warm. I might have to take my my shirt off. Um, let's see. Okay, that needs washed. So I'll save a hanger. Well, no, I don't even need to save a hanger for it because I'm going to pick more up soon. Okay, I'm going to put these button-ups in the back first. That's what I'm going to do before we move on. Where did I put that other one? Oh, it's right there. Okay, let's see if I can uh, maneuver these in here. that one. Then we'll do the pink one. I just like, I, I feel like the spring cleaning fever numerous times of the year, like at least once a season. And I feel the need to just have to want to go through my closet and everything and just make sure everything's in its place and, you know, get rid of stuff I don't ever wear, donate it you know, give it to family, things like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this Christmas one with the other Christmas ones. And it'll kind of flow a little bit better in here. And I posted on, I have a second Instagram account and I uh, posted on there that I went through my underwear and I have so many underwear you guys I am a sucker for cute underwear and I am a sucker for cute socks if I see cute socks and underwear I'm so it's so easy for me to just buy them because you know like some people some girls will like see a lipstick or something and be like oh my gosh that lipstick is so cute and it's like five dollars and they're like oh it's only five dollars I'll just buy it well I'm that way with underwear if it's like really cute underwear and they're like three bucks a pair two bucks a pair whatever and I'm somewhere where they're like really cute pastel cutesy girly I, I I'm really bad about underwear but hey you can never have too many socks and you can never have too many pair of underwear I tell you what <laughs> And I have so many from Adore Me because they're amazing and their quality is so good. I just love them. Okay, so I have five left. So I'm going to go ahead and go through um, the last... Um, okay, I'm just going to go through the last two long sleeve items that I have in here. And then I'll close off this stream. Um, I have these two bomber jackets. This one you guys just saw in one of my hauls. I believe it was the Rose Gal haul. And this one I got from, I've worn this one often, you can see it's got like some stains on the, on the collar as well. Um, I got this from, uh, oh my goodness, what was it called? I did a whole spring lookbook about this company. And they're actually an app. Um, what were they called? I'm trying to remember. I did a spring lookbook last year. And if you guys type in Manitou 1409 spring lookbook on YouTube and it pops up, you'll see exactly where I got this. But I can't remember the name of it right now. I got so many clothes from them. And I'm, I was so impressed with their quality and the style and everything. So I can't remember the name of it. Oh, I didn't even change this one.
mix wire. That's what it was called, mix wire. And they have a an app, and you can uh, buy stuff from their app. Mix wire. That's what it was. I remembered something. Yay! <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna just show you guys really quick, so you can see what I'm working with here. Um, let me unplug the charger. Okay. So. Here are the new hangers. You can see they look so much better, all just like clean and unison. And I'll show you guys on the other side of my closet. This is kind of what it looks like with all the random hangers. <laughs> so it's like all random. And then right there, it's all just like whoosh, clean, unison, nice, all put together, all pretty. And here are all of the old mismatched random hangers. I'm gonna keep, um, a lot of the pink ones because I have a lot of the pink ones over here as well holding up my rompers and I'm gonna when I go back to Walmart I'm gonna see if they have some skirt hangers like ones that have like the little clips because obviously I'm not gonna be able to hang skirts from the other hangers so we'll see we'll see how that goes but for now that's as much as, as I could do I do have three hangers left but I'm not gonna go ahead I'm this is like the end of my uh, like sweaters and long sleeves. I do have, however, some like long sleeves and hoodies hanging up on the insides of my doors. So like my My Little Pony hoodie, some cardigans, my Victoria's Secret hoodie I got from a thrift store. And then this side I got like this bunny hoodie, another cardigan, sweater cardigan, this hoodie. So I have, this is the, then I have like my whole dresser right there and then I have some shoes up here and things are kind of just like stacked in there. Uh, yeah, my closet is a mess, but it's organized. It's organized, but it's a mess. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and hopefully when I get my other hangers, if you want me to give this video a big thumbs up or let me know in the comment section if you want to see my dresses next. Maybe I can do like a dress version. So you guys saw my long sleeves. Next we'll work on the dresses and go from there I guess. So I guess I will let you guys go. I hope this wasn't too long for you guys and I will talk to you all later. So until next time, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye guys!